Hi guys, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, so whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's John 3, 16, and I believe. Hi guys, I was coming to you to talk to you about life. You know, um, everyone's saying, you know, when January 1st comes, I'm going to change my life. I am going to exercise, I am going to lose weight, I am going to do everything that I did not do last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. But realistically, guys, it should not be when January 1st come. Like every month should be January 1st. Every month. So if things didn't happen in January 1st where you change your life, you know, maybe things will happen in June or things will happen in September. The mindset that you have for January 1st should be the same mindset that you will have for the rest of the months. Like you want to keep that mindset every year, every minute. Like I said before in my other videos, doors close and doors open. But the thing is, you never give up. Because usually when January 1st comes, you say, you know what? I am going to go on a diet. I am going to get married. I am going to change my life. And I'm going towards that goal. But when days pass, you have that mindset for a couple of weeks and then boom, it drops. It all drops. And that mindset isn't there anymore. You don't have the same mindset as going in in a positive, you know, you, you went in with a boom. You know, January 1st, we're, we're starting a new year and we're gonna have a new me. And then, no, every day should be a new you. Every day should be a new you. Every day should be a new you. Every day, every day you have that passion to grow and to make changes in your life. Like not all of us are perfect and all of us go through something, but I know God will definitely watch over us and God would definitely see us through it all. Right now, I have a back injury. My back hurts so bad. And I'm trying everything possible to go to physical therapy to get better. And I'm just hoping and praying that it will happen. It will get better. I think negative about it and say, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna lie in bed and do nothing. I'm just gonna always be in pain. It's not gonna get better. You have to think positive, be optimistic, and just think positive every day of your life. Because we only live once, you know? You always have to pray and make sure that God is in your life, you know, always. I have to tell you, you know, um, this back injury has caused a lot of pain for me. So, so I had a friend who, um, you know, asked me how I was doing one day. And I said, oh, my chest hurt really, really bad. And it was, it was hurting so bad, guys. Um, so I, he said, you know what? You need to go to the hospital. And I said, okay. So to make a long story short, I drove to the hospital with my two kids. And when I got there, the doctor said, you know what? Your blood pressure is 200 over something. We have to test and see if you, you are having a heart attack, or we have to test and see if you, you have enough blood going through your heart. So, oh my gosh, guys, just sitting on that bed, listening to the doctor tell me, you know what? You didn't have a heart attack, but you may not have enough blood going through your heart. So we may have to put a stent in your heart. I was terrified and I, I was praying to the Lord and just praying. But the thing is, I do pray, but as much as I was praying, that's as much as I should be praying every day. Every day. You, we can't wait till something happened to pray like that. 
We should pray every day, talk to the Lord every day. I was scared, I was so nervous. I was looking at my kids, the two kids were sitting across from me and they were looking scared. They didn't know what to think, they didn't know what to do. You know, they're only 11 and 13 and they were sitting there like, and I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, this, he's talking about my heart, you know? So to make a long story short, guys, when the doctor did all the testing, um, the injury from my back, the pain in my back, the excruciating pain in my back, it made my blood pressure raise that high. Lot the pain from my back just just elevated to my chest, and that's what happened. So when they did test me, they said, "You know what? You have the healthiest heart in this unit." So it's not your heart at all. Only thing we can think of is the pain from your back just elevated to your heart area. And that is what causes the high blood pressure. So I praise God and praise God and praise God. I was so happy that it was not my heart because that's not something that um, I would want, like them going into my heart and trying to do anything with my heart. Like that's so serious, you know? And I know that there's a lot of people out there who has um, had a heart attack before. And I am so happy that whoever is out there who has had a heart attack before, that they're here to listen to me today. You know, that is a blessing from God. I am so blessed that it was nothing wrong with my heart, that it was good, you know? So I said, it just made me think that we need to live life to the fullest. We need to live life praising God and waiting on Him because He's He will be coming one day. Either we're going to pass and enter into the kingdom of heaven or, or not. I mean, we have to be ready. We have to have our salvation and we have to do what's right by God and we have to do what's right while we're living here on this earth. I want you to know that I have achieved everything that I wanted to achieve or fulfill and that's to help people, help people with anything that they need help on and that's what I wanna fulfill. You know, I have a master's in psychology and that was my goal. My goal was to help people and I just love doing that. I just came on here because I just want you guys to have a different mindset. Not just, okay, when January 1st come, okay, guys, we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. You want every single month to be your January 1st. Every month. You don't wanna give up. You wanna keep moving, you wanna keep striving, you wanna live, be the best you. When Jesus Christ was on this earth, he was helping as many people as he could help, you know, and he did that. And he want us to do the same thing. He wants us to minister to other people. He wants us to help one another. And, and that's what he want us to do. And that's what I wanna do. And that's what I am here to do. So we have to live every month to the fullest. And we have to make sure that we do everything right by God. And we wanna be good to each other, you know? I have to say like a lot of times people think people do not need help you know, because they judge the book by its cover. So just because someone look like they do not need help, you cannot assume they do not need help. Cause you could look at someone and be like, oh gosh, look how she dressed or look how he's dressed. He don't need any help. He's saying he needs some help or what have you. And I'm talking about financial help, spiritual help or what have you, you don't know. You know, because they may look good on the outside, but the inside, they may be really hurting in some way. So you can never look at someone and say, I don't believe that this person needs help. You know, you cannot look and judge people by, by, by the cover. You just can't do that. It's just not right to do that. We have to make sure that People who say they need help, just just really talk to them and minister to them. 
that's helping them tremendously, giving them resources and things like that instead of judging them and saying, I don't think they need help and bypassing them like they're, they're nothing, as if they're lying to you. Yes, there are people out there that do lie and there are people that do not tell the truth. But let me tell you this, you know people by their fruits. The fruits of the spirit, you will know them by their fruit. And God will show you by their fruit if they are deceiving you or not. And there are a lot of people out there who are deceitful, but their fruit will tell you everything. It will tell you if they're telling the truth or not, if they're deceitful or not. God will show you, definitely. He will definitely show you. So we have to be mindful of people who really, really, really do need the help because and, and and be mindful and don't judge it by its cover you can't look at someone who looks like they're richy or whatever but deep inside they're not they may not have the finances that you think they may have they may not have the spiritual uh growth that you think they may have or need they may not have that so you have to make sure or you do not judge a book by its cover that your reaction is based on their fruits the fruits of the spirit yes so what else can i say i just wanted to really come on here because i just felt felt like there's a lot of people that says i'm gonna make changes january 1st that's when i'm gonna do this that's when i'm gonna do that but i just want you guys to have that mindset to always make changes every day like like don't make it january 1st keep it going don't let it end because usually it ends after two weeks like you know what okay then they get comfortable and it just stops so you want to make sure your mindset is fulfilling you want to make sure your your goal is to concentrate on god concentrate on yourself Fulfill all the goals and needs that you do. fulfill everything that you want to that you have set for yourself. Fulfill everything that you have set, and then you will succeed. But if you give up, like if you just depend on January first only, and then a couple of weeks later you just you just give up because you just feel like nothing's happening. But you know what? God's spirit moves. His spirit moves tremendously, and that's a good thing, you know? God doesn't want us to have enemies. So if you have someone that's mad at you or um, whatever, make up, you know, make up, um, forgive. Forgiveness is big, you know? Um, you have to forgive the person, whoever deceived you or whoever made you upset or whoever you're not equal to anyway just forgive you know and move on you know it, it's just the best thing to do to start a good life you have to make sure you forgive people you have to make sure you walk to walk do not talk to talk make sure that you're walking the way the lord jesus christ would want us to walk and i have to i don't mean to get on here to preach but this is life. This is our life today. You know, we we want to be spontaneous. We want to be uh, encouraged. We want to have a, a great deal of motivation. We want to succeed. And you can succeed, but you cannot just count on January 1st. We're gonna, this, we're gonna make this year, blah, blah. It's okay if you wanna make the whole year it's good it's okay you want to say okay january 1st i'm going to do this but i'm going to do it for the whole year keep the consistency and keep it going make every day your january 1st every day every day with the motivation and everything the encouragement and everything just make and make sure you encourage someone else you know motivate someone else someone could be down and out and they just need that boost of encouragement that love the fruits of the spirit that you give upon them so hey help them you know let's help each other that's that's so important for us to help each other and to live life to the fullest 
You know, you want to die knowing that you lived life to the fullest and you did everything right by God. And we are not perfect, but you know, just to think that we are not perfect, let's say we can do better. You know, okay, I did this this way, that wasn't right. So let's do it better. You know, let's please God. Let's have the fruits of the Spirit. Let's be motivational. Let's pray. Let's have His holiness come down on us and do better. And He will want us to succeed. God will want us to succeed. And you can. Just do not think negative. Do not have any negative thoughts. Because if a door closes, let that door close. Because something else is going to open. It's, it may not be immediately. If it's not immediately, it just was not your time. That just was not the right time for that door to open. But that door will open, trust me. But you, and, and the reason why that door will open, because you stayed prayed up, you were consistent, and you believed. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. So you can do it, you just have to have faith and you keep the faith and you keep going. Make every day your January 1st, every day. I don't care if it's in the middle of September. Just keep the faith, keep motivating one another. That's what you have to do, guys. You have to keep motivating one another. Um, whoever's out there looking to get married, you know, make sure you and your mate are equally yoked. I say this so many times in my previous videos, you have to make sure you're equally yoked in order to succeed. Because if you with someone and they think totally different from you and they, they don't really trust in God, they don't even really believe in God that much, it's just whatever. You're not equally yoked with that person. So you wanna make sure that you're like this, like you're equally yoked, you wanna make sure that God is pleased with the two of you. And um, that's that's so important. You want your relationship to succeed. In order for your relationship to succeed, you have to be equally yoked. So that's the truth, guys. You have to be. So if you're looking to get married in 2020, make sure you're equally yoked. If you're looking to have some type of relationship in 2020, make sure that you get along and you're equally yoked. That's so important. Um, in order to get to know one another and guys I'm sorry but in order to get into any relationship anything with your mate or with your significant other you have to get to know each other it, it doesn't have to be at, on an intimate level it could be on a level of just getting to know each other as good friends and there's nothing wrong with that guys I think I get misunderstood when I say I want to get to know someone, or I want the person to get to know me. I want them to know me as a, 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 a nice friendship level. And who knows, maybe something will grow after that. Who knows? But that's what I mean by me getting to know someone or someone getting to know me. Because that's how it should be, guys. We supposed to get to know each other like good friends, you know? You talk, you can, I mean, you communicate, you, you know each other's fruits of the spirit, and you just get along really well. And that's how you get to know each other and to tell if you are equally yoked or not. So that's a good thing. So guys, make sure that every day you stay positive, you say positive words, you pray to the Lord, you know, let him know that you want him in your life. And yeah, so we're gonna encourage one another. Um, make sure you have a lot of wisdom, wisdom to do the right things. Thank you so much for listening to my video. This video is a multi-talented channel because I do cover relationships, hair, acting in the entertainment business. I cover a lot on this channel because I am so multi-talented. I just love just working with people and sharing my knowledge with everyone. So guys, please like and subscribe and, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.